Hello and welcome for a new Vintage Chronicle. Today we will describe Kenner, Palitoy and Tortoy Land Speeder. But above all, I would like you to subscribe to my channel by clicking to the bottom right here. It will allow me to give you more information about Vintage Star Wars toys. So, there are three Land Speeder, one made in America, another one made in Australia and one made in the UK. And we are starting the description right away. These vehicles came with a unique packaging. The only common description is the name, the Star Wars logo with Luke and Leia drawing on the left side of the logo itself. Designed with a star space background on real sand, Palitoy model comes with an unopening bonnet compared to the Kenner model. Boxes are similar size and show Luke's vehicle functions on packaging size. Palitoy used one of the sides to display five action figures from the first list of 12 and on the other side, a large picture of the toy itself. Kenner version shows a red orange background on sand with speeder stopped by Stormtrooper. Box's size shows all function and help as reference to place stickers inside Luke's vehicle. Released in 1978, the question is why three different vehicles available worldwide? At the time, it was cheaper for a toy company to manufacture locally larger items like Land Speeder. So Palitoy built an unopened bonnet version for the UK market and Europe. Also, Toys Toys, who supplied toys for Australia and New Zealand, built its own version, a lighter one from the Kenner model, with striped stickers instead of painted stickers like the US counterpart. But the funny thing is, in Canada, you can find some Toys Toys model which means at certain point when the demand was so strong and the local factory not able to fulfill the needs, licensees were able to order worldwide to fill the store shelves. That experiment ended up in 1980 with the upcoming of the Empire Strikes Back new toy line on shelves. And also you can find a 1983 Star Wars Land Speeder Collector Series Edition when Kenner celebrates five years of success with the upcoming of Return of the Jedi. Palitoy model comes without bonnet and chrome parts are thick stickers apply on body sides. Cockpit is similar to the Kenner model and pegs on the back of the seats are slightly higher than the one made in Cincinnati. Floating suspension is set on three black wheels working with manual gearbox without backstop gear holder like Kenner counterpart. Toy Toy's model is 90% similar to the Kenner one. Main differences are stripe stickers apply all around the vehicle and non-stop back gear box like the Palitoy model. Kenner and Tolstoy's hood open for access to turbo reactor and space hatch storage compartment. Compared to Palitoy model, chrome side parts are real extra item set while vehicle assembly at factory plan. Dashboard labels shows vehicle control instrument. Spring-loaded brown wheel device works with manual gearbox inside vehicle with a backstop device. Suspension simulate land speeder floating ride. Scale for two action figures on the front, two on the back. This vehicle allows you to carry droids holding by central pegs on the back of the seat. Land speeder is one of the first vehicles built into the Kenner toy line and no matter what differences are between all versions, as the Palitoy keep the right-looking shape for the vehicle and Toltoy's main change shows stripe stickers instead to be painted one. These vehicles remain one of the coolest toys for the year 1978. I hope this review was an interest to you. Feel free to leave any comment, they are always welcome. Leave a thumb up if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and see you soon for a new Chronic Vintage.